Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we take a look at some of the leading TCG deck lists. And this time we have Alfie Morton returning to the channel. If you haven't heard of him, then I don't know where you've been. We've got so many videos from this guy and uh, once again he's bringing on True Draco. So we're going to run through the list, uh, then we'll get some information about his tournament and um, the decisions that he made in building the deck, and then we'll go through the round reports. So, one Dynamite, Triple Ignis, Double Maiden. A triple Demise, Double uh, Disciples, Triple Diagram, Double Duality, Double Scapegoat in here, this is pretty interesting, giving him some extra deck access of actually interesting monsters. Uh, triple Shared Ride, um, in this kind of format, where there's a lot of adding, this is kind of like Maxi, a little bit slower, but still a very, very useful card. Uh, double Terraforming, Triple Heritage, uh, Triple Gozen Match. Double, uh, triple actually, Magic Deflector in here too. Uh, Skystruck is being especially popular at this event. One Skill Drain. Triple, there can be only one. Triple Apocalypse, one return. And double Waterfall of Dragon Souls. Uh, for the extra deck then, we have one Omega, one Crystal Zero Lancer, one Freeze Dawn, one Volcasaurus, and then with the Scapegoats, he has access to stuff like the Boral Sword, the Cerberus, Griffin, Phoenix, Unicorn, you need the Link Spiders of course to make use of those scapegoat tokens alongside the Link Rebo. Uh, one misses Radiant in case he has to do the sort of just base damage um, or go into another Link 2 off the tokens. One Ngirsu for removing problems and one Trisbana which is obviously very very useful against stuff like um, Paleo or even against Sky Strikers. Then siding Double Ghost Ogre. Triple Inspector Border as additional Floodgate monsters, um, and then one Metaltron the 12th. You can actually use this guy to summon loads of the extra deck stuff as well, although just summoning this against a lot of different decks wins the match. Uh, double Emergency Provisions for Time, Triple Evenly Matched, one Imperial Order, and Triple Infinite Impermanence for when you need some extra hand traps. So that is it for the deck itself. Uh, let's get some of his comments on the event and everything then. So he said, overall the event was fine. Uh, again, I built my deck for pure Sky Striker, but no matter what I go to, I somehow managed to avoid uh, all the pure Sky Striker players, even though they can be either side of me every round. Uh, so typically just facing off against sort of the random decks of the format and not really um, making making the, the perfect use of all these cards which have been teched into the main deck then. Um, he said I wanted to move some cards uh, such as Magic Deflector and Shared Ride into the main deck for this event as I wanted to have more chainable back row to things such as Twin Twisters and uh, make it so it has a lingering effect for the turn unlike a Floodgate that only really works while it's face up. Which is very relevant actually um, given the recent popularity of Sky Striker builds that include a lot of spell and trap removal uh, in order to win the mirror match you definitely want stuff that hangs around really. He said that he didn't really think combo decks existed in this format, except outside of the odd Goki player, but most decks were really control decks, which enabled him to move his hand traps to the side deck and play less of them overall. The uh, scapegoats, are, he says, are fantastic. It's another chainable side to uh, back row destruction, and it makes things such as the Boros Sword to take game from your opponent. Um, and Goats and plus Draco uh, together you can use them to sort of start destroying your opponent's field with the Nightmare cards and Ngisu before you even have to push with your Draco engine, which can end to uh, total destruction of your opponent's field, even from a really, really big board. Uh, he says he's not trying to be triff with emergency provisions, but to be honest, he didn't really trust many of the UK players to play fast enough, so he had to have them in there just in case of emergencies. Um, Evenly was only for decks like Altergeist and Paleozoic as they can be a threat sometimes and he chose Shared Ride and Magic Deflect as he felt that they were the best to beat pure Sky Striker whilst also maintaining a universal use over other matchups. Uh, he says if you have a goat board you can also make the Griffin and use it to set any of your Floodgate or Deflector or Shared Ride from your grave and then draw a card. Obviously um, that's goat plus a monster there so that you get all those materials out, uh, but setting a card like Deflector and then having a built-in skill drain with Griffin can be really hard for your uh, opponents with pure Sky Striker decks to be able to deal with. Uh, he says that he thinks the list is really good, he would maybe change a few of the side options depending on the event, and now with the introduction of Thunder Dragons, which will be a real threat to Draco, he thinks he may have to tailor the, uh, the build in order to defeat that strategy as well, but overall he really likes it as a list. Uh, so for the rounds, in round 1, 
uh, he played a mirror match actually and went 1-2. Uh, he gave his friend the deck list before the event, ended up playing him round 1, and then he lost to it, which is a bit unfortunate there. Uh, round 2 against Blue Eyes, 2-0 here. Uh, he just abused Apocalypse and dealt with all of the opposing beaters, and then Imperial ordered him in game 2. Uh, round 3 against Lair Infernoid, went 2-0 here again, uh, made sure to keep some resources in hand at all points as he knows that a Deviati can be a complete blowout, but fortunately for Alfie, uh, the opponent didn't summon it and Alfie was prepared just in case. In game 2, uh, Alfie summoned a border which was a complete blowout and then managed to pick off the opposing board. Uh, in round 4, there was a mirror match, but they only played one game here which Alfie won. He says it was the worst game he's ever played in his life. Um, the opponent was playing Erupt and went first in Demise and everything. Uh, Alfie's hand was awkward which required him to use 3 Diagram on his first turn in order to survive and establish his own board. They had a lot of back and forth. The only damage um, for Alfie coming from a Dynamite direct attack. Uh, the opponent was playing Dreyth too so it made it incredibly awkward to push. It came to a point where neither of them had any diagrams left, and they were just surviving with monsters. Alfie had 5 monsters on field, all in defense, and the opponent had 5 all in attack. And time was just about to be called, um, so Alfie had walled up, flipped Goza match in the battle phase and sat comfortably behind 2 Ignis Heat. Um, the match lasted one game, and it was the worst thing that he's ever done. Uh, and then in round 5, uh, so against Trickstar Mech Knight here, going 2-1, game 1, the opponent has a field of Candina Licorice in hand and 3 sets. Uh, Alfie tries to play around the reincarnation, but uh, the opponent times everything perfectly and hits him with Twin Twisters, removing 2 of the search cards, and um, the opponent had like a million damage next turn. Game 2, Alfie sets three with a border and the opponent even leaves for three back row, um, so Alfie gets to keep the border. Alfie draws and has Diagram and a way to tribute because he also has a dynamite, so he tributes Dino, pots a back row which is a mech knight, um, and summons a blue sky for the opponent, so Alfie uses Diagram which allows him to clear the blue sky because of the 300 push, which is actually really good as it stops the opponent from outing the border in the following turn, uh, at which point the opponent then scooped. Moving into game three, um, the opponent had a Candina on field, three sets and Lyco and a blank in hand. Alfie draws for turn and he has only search cards but nowhere to tribute summon, so um, two terraforming and duality here. Uh, he doesn't want to risk the droll, so he bluffs evenly. Same battle phase, the opponent takes the bait, uses reincarnation. Uh, Alfie gets an entirely new hand with the droll on resolution, unfortunately, but he draws into Inspector Border and a way to tribute someone another Draco, so he just takes away all the opposing, uh, opposing resources and prevents any possible follow up. And into round 6, uh, BA a 1 1 here. Uh, Alfie plays our national treasure, Tom Rose, and in game 1, the opponent kaijus him. And then Alfie has scapegoats, but the uh, but Tom managed to OTK him with burn da damage from Gallus on top, uh, milling a Rhino, uh, Barbara and Trisbana as well as that, and reduce the um, reduces Alfie's Kaiju to zero with Underclock, and then summons Triple Burst dra dra uh, Dragon to do piercing damage. Uh, game two, uh, pretty dreadful for um, both of them. Um, so Tom opens two Twisters and two Red Reboot and can't play. Um, but Alfie has no real push, so the game goes on until um, Tom opened some kind of engine and it just ends up being one huge long game which requires Demise top decks to survive um, and then Alfie was just... Uh, and uh, Tom was using floating guys to survive but in the end Alfie managed to win in time and uh, claim a draw here. So one last one draw from six rounds. Uh, this uh, true Draco deck putting in a lot of work, managing to bring our national champ to a 1-1 uh, position. Um, very, very strong deck. Uh, I really like the uh, the twist that is actually taken here with the fact that you can play the scapegoats in order to get that extra utility out of it. The extra deck definitely something worth picking up and giving a go. Um, we can see that Rivalry doesn't really show its face anymore, it just doesn't put in enough work against the decks that aren't Sky Striker to be honest, and you don't tend to have to worry about that because normally you're only playing off a single attribute anyway. Actually that's another interesting thing about the extra deck, having the Mrs. Radiant and the Link Spiders there, you can actually turn your scapegoats just into those three monsters and push for some damage with your Goza Match live so you don't have to worry about that too much. But overall, really nice looking list. Congratulations again Alfie for making another top cut at the WCQ event, uh, this time the Doncaster Regionals and uh, great to have you back on the channel. Hopefully we'll see you again in the future.
Thanks for watching this episode of Top Deck. If you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to make, leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the description for details of how you can get involved in this series. You can enter by a voice interview, or instead you could just send all of your information over Facebook Messenger or anything like that will be absolutely fine. If you want to see anything in particular from the upcoming series, then be sure to get in touch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.